Go. Under. Get down as low as you can, as low as you can. Good. Get back up quick. Over that one. Play is an acronym for P-L-A-Y, for Physical Literacy and Youth. I want you to take this one ball, and I want you to knock that target down. So the concept is just, we get kids out to play, but in playing, they learn how to move their bodies. Go, stay on the rope, don't, let, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. So they learn how to run, jump, kick, catch, throw, twist, turn, how to manipulate objects, how to throw a ball, how to throw a chicken, how to throw a tail ball, how to catch in different ways, using different hands, and both hands, and overhead. Again, those are the movement competency kinds of skills that all sports are made up of. Catch, catch, catch! Kids, when they're growing up, they learn the sport and the skills associated with the sport, but they miss out on all these other skills that they're not getting exposed to because they're not exposed to those sports necessarily. Just hit it right back. There you go, good. What we know about learning, and this is true for adults too, is that we learn so much better by just having exposure to a variety of things. Good job. And now go the road. these kids go the road. actually learn these motor skills through activities that don't seem like they're learning. When we get to them this young, and we can teach them this variety of skills at this young age is really important. And why is that so important is that now they've built a library of movement skills that no matter what sport they go into later in life, they always have that to call upon, right? You learn a language at six or seven, even if you don't use it for a number of years at 15 or 16, you're gonna be able to recall that language. There's a vocabulary there. And movement is the same way. Now we can use those movement skills in sports that I participate in and, and it gives us a, just a, a much broader scope of athleticism that we can just call upon later on down the road. Good job.